<laughs> and they're like, you're not listening. I was like, no, I got this. I'm going to eat perfect. I'm going to heal myself through eating properly. And all my workouts, you know, they became unilateral. Like, I couldn't do this because my right arm would take over. So I had to do 15 reps with the left, 15, and, you know, yeah. do all my sets. My workouts took twice as long. Um, and bodybuilding, it's all about symmetry. Yes. So yeah. talk about, like, what do I do now, you know? Um, and I just didn't give up. I remember I went for a run one morning, and I just laughed because I was like, a year ago, they told me that I would never do any of this, and now I'm deadlifting, and I'm kickboxing again, and I'm doing everything. So to me, it was just kind of like a, a you know, ha-ha moment, like you said I couldn't do it, and I did it, yeah. you know? And then I went on to compete. I got uh four trophies in one show you know i that did 2015 that was 2014 14 14 no you're right 15 14. uh it was the lack of, and i entered two categories i couldn't decide if i wanted to be bikini body or figure body so i ended up doing uh four categories the bikini and, and then the masters figure and masters and uh i said i'll let the the judges decide what they they want um they think that i'm better for and they pretty much voted for for figure so then I ended up doing uh, the the figure, taking the figure out. So, but and then there's more obstacles after that, right? <laughs> you want to talk about that? Um, we can, we can. Uh, so I ended up uh, right after that show, I was super lean. I think um, when I went to go do my M-body at, at Paraline, they were even working at 7% wow. body fat, which is just, I just have the ability that's why i want to do physique one day i have the ability to get lean and straighted really really easily it's 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 super easy for me to to lean out um so i was really lean it had been a month after i competed and i had this client come in and she's like let's barter you know i really want to learn from you because i want to start doing training on the side myself and i'll massage you and your whole staff and you, me and my staff can come to your boot camps and I'm super nice. I'm like, yeah, girl, let's do it. You know, awesome. And so I was waiting for my massages and then she's like, I really want to do these, um, papaya shots on you. And I'm like, well, I'm pretty lean right now. You know what? It's a fat burner and it's all natural and it's water soluble. And I'm like, but I'm lean, you know, she's like, I'm not even going to charge you. I just want you to see what it's like so you can send me clients. And I was, you know, I went in for my massage. I'm like, okay, let's do it. You know, and what is it again? It's water soluble. It's a pap papaya enzymes. I do it. My daughter does it. We all do. And, you know, I'm just super trusting. And, and I said, okay. So she put um, shots all around my belly button, all around my love handles, all around my back, um, all around my top abs. And when I went home that night, I knew something was wrong. I knew something was wrong and I messaged her right away and she's like, girl, it's papaya. You're fine. You're fine. I said, I'm not okay. Um, what is it? It's papaya. You're fine. So then I think a couple of weeks after that, I, I just knew, I said, my, my white blood cells are through the roof. I do not feel the same. I felt so much heat. It was like winter and I was in shorts and like, I was always burning up. I said, something's wrong. I'm going to go do my blood work. Sure enough, my monocytes were through the roof which are the ones that fight a foreign substance in your body. Um, my friend had a med clinic and I went, uh, let me see your thermal scan, like see if you can see anything. And she told me, Temna, you're covered in plastic all over your core. She goes, look at the thermal scan, thermos, read your body. It's supposed to be red, orange, and white, the human uh, you know, body. And my wand in the thermal scan, if you look, it's purple because it's plastic. She's like, look at your core in the thermal scan and it was just blue bubbles everywhere she goes i don't know what to tell you i'm going to call the doctor and the doctor comes in and he says let's go to my hospital uh in venosa he's the plastic of the um president of the plastic surgeon board he works on botch cases and stuff like that um he said i want you to come in and i want to do a sonogram in the hospital on you so he does the sonogram and he says this is not papaya, obviously. He's like, uh, it's been six months and it's still, he goes, it's some sort of plastic. I, I can't identify it. He's like, please take this woman to lunch. Ask her, what did you inject in me? What if it's cancerous? He's like, he's like, you, you were so lean when this was injected into you that I can't even go in and lipo it out because it's embedded in your muscle fibers. So if I try to go suck it out, you're going to be, it's going to be even worse I don't know how to tell you this, but this is going to take five to probably 10 years to come out of your core. 
to like dissolve to dissolve and remove and i remember i went to go see my mom long after that and she hugged me and she said you've never felt like this you're hanging what is this you know and i'm like i gotta tell you something (laughs) you know and then another thing he said was um i already had a low immune system you know since i was a little girl he said now your immune system because you're constantly fighting this you're gonna be at 80 percent on your best day and he said not only that but when you work out and you're under stress, when you're going to start your cycle, your monthly cycle, when you get in a fight with your boyfriend, anything causes you stress, this chemical is just going to go, it's going to, you know, your white blood cells are going to yeah, attack it more and you're just going to always be puffy no matter what. And I was like, <laughs> okay. So I, I call this woman and I, I tell her, hey, you know, I have medical records showing me that it's plastic. What did you put in me? Oh, I don't know why you're doing this. Do you just want to sue me? I don't understand why you're being this way. I, I get it from a lab in, in the United States and this and this. And I said, okay, I believe that you believe it's papaya, but I'm telling you it's not. And you need to stop hurting people because what if someone with a real low immune system and then you lower it even low? I said, this is not right. So she blocks me on all social media and she keeps selling it on the side. And people are like, are you going to sue her? Are you mad? I'm like, no. She's going to turn the other cheek. I'm going to pray about it. I'll let God handle her. Um, I'm going to do what I can do. And I said, you know, just like when they told me you can't ever lift weights again, I said, I'm going to dissolve this stuff out of my body. I'm going to eat proper. Um, you know, I'm going to sweat it out and, and, you know, just trying to be as hopeful as possible. So I get on stage one more time, which was the Texas Pep 2015. Um, and I still, I still play second. But you can see the hanging of my core. You can see the product in there, you know? And so that's where it's just like, you know, I might do well enough now to place in, you know, NPC shows, but to say that I'm going to go out and get my pro card, I'm probably going to have to wait till the 10 years are over, you know? But I won't quit. But but she never even mentioned what it is. She never even, she didn't even know what it was. I wish I knew what it was. I wish they would have put it somewhere else because it hasn't yeah. moved. It hasn't dissolved. Whatever it is, it's it's high quality. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, I, it, sounds like, it sounds like the ones that they use, they inject in the glutes. You know, the I mean, I wish she would have put it in my butt. That would have been great. Or muscles, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but um, unfortunately, it doesn't. But it's okay. I mean, people, I, I, I should probably be extremely upset but i always feel like god has a plan for you obviously maybe i'm not supposed to be the one on stage you know between the accidents coming every time i try to get on and then this thing happening um you know those who don't do teach and maybe it's just my path to be more of a teacher um and just trying to see the bright side it's not going to keep me probably from getting on stage again um for masters later in the future but for now i'm at i'm at peace with it well masters i don't think i don't i don't think we want Told them about your age. You want to tell them about your age? Oh, I'm um, 43. 43. Look how good she is. <laughs> Why? Because eat good. Eat well. Right? <laughs> Take care of yourself. And not the lane I exactly. that. There you go. And spring water. And spring water. <laughs> what I want to know is, what is that? Re- Reiki? Reiki. 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 What is that? Um, Reiki. I don't, think, no, no, I don't think, I've never heard of it. I don't think most people have ever heard of it. I um, had Reiki done to me when I was... 20 years old. It was actually in Cornerstone. There was a little old lady working there and, um, you know, because if you look up Reiki, it says it's something that you can't explain because it's different for everybody. Um, it's something that you have to experience. Um, so my first experience was with Reiki. I was already familiar, um, with the chakras. The body has seven energy zones that are called chakras. And, um, you know, in, in, in the East, they believe that each chakra is responsible for a different group of, you know, emotions and, and they're supposed to be balanced. And when they're unbalanced, it creates sickness in our lives. So every disease, every sickness is related to unhealed emotions. And it's a really interesting philosophy. So what she did to me is she laid me down and she said, I'm going to balance your chakras. And so they're literally seven or um, vortexes and they're called vortex. Some people even call them organs of the body. And when they're balanced, they go in a clockwise cycle. Um, you know, if there's a little static or there's something wrong with them, you know, there might not be 
blocked completely, then they'll just have not that strong cycle of clockwise motion. When it's blocked, it's totally in a counterclockwise motion. And we use crystals and stuff to kind of detect that. You know, you can see it. Um, but she did my chakras and she said, you were really good at this as far as letting me go in there and clear any static out and get everything flowing in the right direction. And I think my background in yoga had to I had a lot to do with it. And just to give you an example of um, the way that works, like for example, the throat chakra. So it's supposed to be balanced in the sense of um, if you are the type of person to hold everything in and you don't speak your truth because, oh, I don't want to hurt that person's feelings or, oh, I'm just too timid. I don't want to stand up for myself or I don't want to speak my truth. That's one way it can be blocked, right? Because that's not good. Another end of the spectrum where it could be blocked is you have no filter. You say whatever you want with no regards to, I don't care if it hurts. I'm just going to say what I want to say. I'm going to, you know, that's another way that it could be blocked because that's not right either. So you want to find that happy balance, right? And so if it's not <clears throat> balanced and you have a block, uh, an example of not speaking your truth or not standing up for yourself, maybe a thyroid issue could develop or um, some people have gotten, you know, tumors in their neck or so it's same thing with the heart. You know, if you have a heartache or your heart's been broken and you've never healed from that, you can have circulation problems. You can have um, maybe lung cancer. You can have, it, it's just, it goes on and on and on. So, you know, we have seven different energy zones. And so with Reiki, basically it's like a massage, but I tell people I'm not going to go in and massage you. It's just energy work. You know, we check the seven chakras and then once I check the seven chakras, I get to see, okay, this chakra needs work. This one's fine. This one needs something's up here, you know. Um, and then after I kind of do the assessment, there's 19 positions that you put your hands over someone uh, for Reiki. Like the first one is going to be over the eyes. Then it's over the ears. Then you do, you know, the head and you work your way down, um, you know, uh, and I always pray. It's, it's pretty much a form of prayer, you know, that my hands at the moment become God's hands and that whatever needs to come out, whatever bad static, you know, it could be mental, physical, so whatever needs to happen, come out. And then whatever needs, if it's an organ that needs like more energy or anything for it to go in, and you can actually feel the heat coming from the hands. You can feel the energy coming from the hands. Um, you know, it's, definitely God's holy fire. It's holy spirit. So I always say it feels basically like love, you know, just coming out of your hands. And if it's um, a mental block, like our navel chakra is in charge of our power. It's like the sun of your body and it's yellow. And if it's blocked, it might be because you don't know how to set boundaries with people. You know, I have you say yes, yes, I'll do that for you, yes, I'll do that. You know, you, you just overextend yourself, and that's one way that, like, why am I tired? You know, so it's about setting um, boundaries with people. Another way you can have strength for your uh, navel chakra is not having any limiting beliefs. And I tell people, you know, sometimes we say it even joking, like, oh, I could never do that. You know, just even something lightly like that is super negative because the body's always listening. Okay, she can never do that, you know, and um, so just taking like your power and, and having that power. So um, there's, you know, different areas that you can work on and stuff like that and, and things that you can give power to. So once we do that, we go in and sometimes it'll be a chakra. Sometimes it'll be a, a, an emotion. Sometimes it'll be um, something spiritual that they need to work on, but it all comes to me through, through, through Reiki. And then sometimes it's just something as simple as a shoulder injury. You know, people tell me, you didn't even touch my shoulder and then I woke up with it better. How is that possible? Um, or their knee, my leg's been hurting for a whole year and now it's gone. How did that work? So, you know, there's no limit to what Reiki can do. Just, there's no limit to where God's power could do, you know, and it's just... And you do this in a, what, an hour setting or a two hour setting? How it's it? usually the shortest is 90 minutes. Yeah, I was going to say that's something It that's takes a while. while. Yeah. yeah, it does take a while. Um, now, if someone doesn't know anything about chakras and all that, it'll still work. But I always try to send information, like understand what we're doing, because if your energy is working on it and my energy is working on it, and then we're praying about it, like God says, when two or more are gathered in my name, I will be there. And it's, it's just work stronger. It's going to work better. So, um, but yeah, I love doing that. That's something that when I had it done to me at 20, 
I said, I want to do this when I'm older. And older, why? Because I said, I'm a 20-year-old punk kid. No one's going to trust me to work on them at this level, you know. But I do come from, um, there's evangelists on both sides of my family. My family, home, you know, they've been ministering forever. They have many churches and stuff like that. It's just something I knew I wanted to do when I was 20, but I felt like, you know, I don't think I'm going to have a lot of clients, adults, like hire this little kid to do this. On. Well, I said, when I turn 40, I'm going to get into this and this is what I want to do. And and as soon as I, you know, the pandemic happened, I worked on my level one, my level two, and my, I finally got my level three. Um, and I knew it. It's just something that I, I, I love doing. I love seeing people tell me they feel better, that they have more peace, that they feel healed, that they feel, um, more confidence, that they, even people notice their energy looks different. Um, I've already had just this year, two competitors. Hey, I want you to like make my aura shiny for stage, you know, get my, my, um, my energy zones. You just, you just have a pep in your ship. It's kind of like taking an energetic shower. You know, um, there's a downside, isn't there? Is it, if you're taking energy, good energy, where's the bad energy from going? Um, um, people ask me, do you get tired? Right. Do you get tired from this? It depends. I often, I take it very seriously. I fast, um, before I do sessions and I pray for protection. Um, and most of the time, because it's not me doing the healing, it's not me doing the work. I, I'm just a vessel, you know, and just, I pray that, you know, God uses me and I say right now, God, my hands are your hands. And it, because it, it's not me, I don't know where to go. My eyes are closed and I'll just be, okay, here, and then work on this area here. Stay here a little longer. Okay, we're done. Here. Now let's go to the next organ or let's go to the next spot. Um, and it's very intuitive and you just listening to that, to the, that guidance. And because it's not me, I don't get tired. That's not always the case. Um, it's usually the case, but then if they're carrying something very heavy, um, yeah, it could be, I, I have to say that I feel protected. Overall, my energy is good, but sometimes, yeah, even if it's just working on someone, it'll make you tired. Just like if you were to go and clean your whole house, you know, you're going to be a little tired after that. But to say that it alters me or changes my, puts me in a bad mood or well, I, I, like I that. It's more, it's not like a physical, I think it's more like internal draining. Like, that's what I see it. Because I, I remember when I got a massage and, and, and my masseuse, you know, after my session, she canceled her other sessions because she took, there was so much energy around me that she took out. And, and even I felt it, like afterwards, I was yeah. like, what the hell like is I feel more and calm, like it's weird, yeah. Mm -hmm. And she was telling me that, that I was this was after my mom passed away, mm -hmm. you know. So I was carrying a lot of burden, I guess, or a lot of you know, you know. So when she did all that and she canceled her other session because she just she felt so drained taking all that out, but she's she knows how to get it out of her, you know right. what I mean? But it's a yeah, um, I guess that's why I only do them at 8.30 at night. I mean, I will do one in the middle of the afternoon or whatever, but I kind of wait till the end of the day. Um, I do make sure I have nothing because we heal when we sleep. So I tell people, they usually tell me I couldn't get out of bed the next morning. I feel great, but man, I'm like, that's just cause it's still working. Mm -hmm. You know, sleep as much as you can. Um, but I like to do them at night. Um, like they'll say it, we do a session at 8.30. We'll usually finish about 10. And I only book one per day. I've done two in a day. And yeah, I think I rather just put all my energy into doing one mm -hmm. awesome session with somebody. And it takes you a while to kind of just, yeah, it, it, it's very powerful. It can be um, powerful spiritually. Um, and so it's not almost like, why would you want to jump into another session right after that? It, you kind of want to absorb. And then there's a happiness too, because you are in God's presence and you feel the work being done and that cleaning that you're talking about, that lighter. It's like leading on a, a revival at church, yeah. but it was just for you. You know, it, it feels really, really good. So I get so happy with that. That, that kind of just loosens my energy. But to say that um, I don't have to rest extra in the morning, I, I do. Mm -hmm. I do. You know, I won't go into work maybe till like 930 the next morning. I won't do a late session and be ready to go at five because it does. And it takes a while to just process all the good that happened. And yeah, there's bad things that maybe needed to leave or be removed. But um, overall, you know, you're doing something good for that person. And you, are you the only certified person down here that does that? I'm great. Um, I know 
I don't know. I don't know because it's very, um, not new. To, I guess maybe new to the Valley. I mean, it's been around forever, but, um, as far to say that it's common around here, not yet. Yeah. I say give it five, ten years. For example, uh, right across the street from my business is a chiropractor place, uh, well body, and you know she she does infrared needling, needling, and we were just talking about how the valley's not ready for you know they're like what is that yeah. you know and and they almost have like a fear towards it just because it's something that's un not understood. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that. One, everyone can do Ricky. You know, everyone can do it, uh, especially like at a level one level. Um, you know, it's like if your child falls and they hurt their knee, what's the first thing you do? Let me see it. You put your hand on their knee and let me, you know, that's already Ricky, just bringing comfort through touch, you know, and of course it levels up after that. But I think the way we're going with the food that's out there available to now, us to now, um, the way that people are getting sick, uh, the way that you know, just the trauma, the recession, the, you know, every, the way things are going, people need healing. You know, they need to learn how to eat better, uh, more natural foods, drink spring water, how to put their feet in the grass, take normal breaths outside in fresh air, you know, get away from their TV, get away from their social media, get outside, meditate, pray, do Reiki on their loved ones, on their pets. You know, just, I just feel like as the world's getting more and more broken, that eventually people are going to be looking for that healing and for that self-soothing and learning that, hey, I need to take care of myself and my family, myself. And Reiki is just a way that you can, um, it's just a form of prayer. You know, it's a form of prayer and healing. And I think it's going to get more popular as people are looking for ways hey, to feel This is origin from where? Japan. Japan. Mm -hmm. yes. they're, the, they're, they're very spiritual there. Yes. Yeah. They're the ones that started the whole yoga on air. Right. So, yeah. Right. They just understand the body. Yeah. You know, we differently, you know, the chakras, like, um, you know, a lot of people in the United States, you ask them, do you know what chakras are? And, and most people say no. You know, they don't know. And over there, they're like, oh, um, your lungs, your circulation's bad because your heart's broken. Like, let's work on that. You know, they understand that disease and sickness all comes from our emotions being off balance. And so, you know, they're big, if something happens over there, uh, you know, trauma, their little boy falls or whatever, they do a whole ceremony to remove the trauma, you know, to, okay, you're good now. You're going to have to carry that for the rest of your life. You got the attention and the healing that you need. Now, off you go, you know, and here it's just like, you know where the band-aids are, you know, it's, it's just walk it off, walk it off. Let's go. Here's my and um I hope I hope that more people um you know start looking into more holistic and natural ways and um you know I, I think they'll they'll be a lot happier. And now you have is called Cold, cold bar. Cold bar. Cold bar. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, uh you have two. You have a location and you have a mobile. Yes. Um, the cold bar is in Sherryland, right across the street from um, the Sherryland High School okay. and the fire station in Vanworth Park, the Doug Park. It's like literally across from the park. And right next to that, we have our mobile gym, too. So what it is, is the 17 foot trailer and four squat racks come out. You can do wall balls. It has AC. We can make protein shakes. It's got, um, I mean, it can pretty much versatile. It can turn into anything. If people want to do cardio, we'll take all the rowers and skiers and okay, we're doing that. But you want to make kickboxing, we can hang bags off of it. It's pretty much tailored. It could even be a therapy then. You know, uh, my fiance does, he was a, uh, he did therapy at AOI for seven years, you know, and he worked as a athletic trainer um for UTRGB. So like anything, oh one of my clients like my knee's been clicking or my shoulder, I'm like, you know, Rico, come fix them right. I call him my shaman. <laughs> I like come fix them real quick because I mean he's just used to getting the athlete right back out there. You know, um so he's amazing. I'm not just saying that just because he's my fiance, but he has a gift. Me that did so many years of physical therapy with all my car accidents and injuries, I mean he really is the best. Um he's got a real gift. So that between the therapy and the Reiki, I've had people like do a double session with this where I'll do Reiki with them for an hour and then he'll flush their spine out and stuff like that. They're like, everybody needs to do this. Wow. This is amazing. And um, that's another thing that the trailer could be used for, you know, okay, we're going to come to you to this employee group for, you know, therapy today, you know, and everybody's going to get 
their chakras cleared and they're spying what, what that, that have you come on? The, 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 the mobile. The trailer? Yeah. Okay, he had um, got that going during the pandemic. Okay. Because remember, everything was like just outside. Yeah. And everybody wanted to be away from each other. And so he's like, okay, I have a gym. Smart. How do I bring outside to everybody, yeah. you know? And so he designed the trailer. Now they're mass, they're reproducing it, but he designed the original tra- trailer. He put it together and um, and made it into like a transformer. So, so you, the, the whole COVID time, he did this he and he was still going out there doing, training. Yes. And people try this and people call me like, Oh, I wanna I wanna get the trailer. I'm like, yeah. you do realize it's a seventeen foot trailer. Do you have room? Like it's huge. Yeah. So, you know, you find a good spot, tell them to invite ten of your family members and uh, let's go. Let's you do, do the whole session with them. Yes. Something? I have uh, cool. some people that'll book it like at the island. Mm-hmm. We wanna work out at the beach. Okay, well, you know, we'll go out there, we'll set up at the convention center and we'll have a circuit out there or something. So it's really it's really cool. Um, and and then Cobart, what do y'all do there? Cold bar, we have, okay, so here's the thing. Um, I've been a bodybuilder my whole life, and I used to work with Rico. Uh, he's the one that actually called me to to do dynamic. And then he just got the bug for CrossFit, and, you know, he went and did that. And now he's, I just, I mean, I, I respected it, I thought, but it's just like, I don't care how fast I can lift that much weight. I need to go slow because I'm sculpting. <laughs> Why would you want to rush this? Yeah. You know? I, I, I never got into CrossFit too. He does amazing things. Like I saw him with his friends this morning and they were doing just all this weight overhead and then they go run and then and burpees. And I'm just, it's a, it's a different animal. Yes. Right. And so what do you take when you get a bodybuilder and a CrossFitter and they open a gym together? Right. Um, so the, I, I, and I did, I did, I did the CrossFit thing with it. I did it for a year. I said, I'm going to try this world because um, I had torn my knees. And so I had avoided squats for like a long time. And I said, I feel good. I want to do all that crazy squat stuff you do. Like, I want you I want you to introduce me to this world. And so uh, I did it. It's very, very, very different. But I said, I miss the, like, I want to do this for half the workout, like red line, get sweaty, activate all the muscles. And then at the end, I still want to body build, you know? So that's what our program is. Okay. So we'll do, and a lot of people don't like CrossFit because they're like, I don't want to do 900 burpees today. I don't want to <laughs> yeah. do that. And I'm like, I understand, you know? So we do some of the CrossFit movements, um, but then there's always bodybuilding at the end. Okay. So they get the best of both worlds. So I think it's like the best program on earth. You know, it's really, really good. And then um, there's days where I know they're all sore and we'll come in and we'll do yoga or like, okay, we're going to. So it's a little bit of everything. Um, I still teach cardio kickboxing there too. We have a little bit of everything, but more so people are starting to come in for that therapy. You know, for the therapy, for the Reiki, and for my brownies. Yeah. And brownies. <laughs> so brownies. I'm still selling the brownies. I brought you some today. So, yeah. So, taste those brownies. Um, yeah. I, they get very upset if I don't bake often. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah. So, and so, is, is it like you do like what a month, Pat? Like they pay for a month and they include so many sessions? Or it's per session? Or um, how do you work yours? Because I know everybody does it different. Right. Well, if you want to just be a member and it's 180 for like a single month. And then if they want to do six months, then it's 120. And they but they can get the more unlimited. Unlimited, unlimited okay. classes. Um, if they're a member, I give them uh, discounts on the juices. We have my uh, cousin, he's a pastor, and he does all the green juices, grapefruits, the beet juice, all that. So, like, normally, let's say it's uh, eight bucks a juice. If you're a member, it's 650. Okay. Same thing with the meal preps. Like, I'm like, I want y'all to look good. So, we all get perks. Uh, for that and then so that's just the gym membership now we still do one-on-one trainings all day okay you know we still take the rico takes a trailer out and he'll train a group over there he'll come back train a client is you know meanwhile i'm teaching a class and so um we're still doing that the personals like for it's uh, you know single sessions or if they want to buy a package for the month then they can do a package for the month um, so that's just a little bit of everything that you can do there. Uh, you know, there's a day pass if you want to go for the day and then you can buy a day pass or we'll have like a six class pass. If you want to just try it out, you can purchase a six pass. So, so just a little bit of everything to try to get everybody there. It is all levels welcome. We have, because Rico, uh, is I'm more of a trainer. He's more of a coach. He does more athletics and stuff like that. He's got a lot of kids that are some sports specific basketball and stuff like that. Um, I've never been good with sports with a ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. To church. 
this little girl, I got hit in the eye with a softball, and that was um, me. No more. <laughs> so I did gymnastics, I did swimming, and I did bodybuilding. Okay. And also just solo sports, you know, just always. Um, so when it comes to, like, the basketball and all that stuff, he's really, really good at that. I'm more of the, like, okay, we're going to give you about two inches, right? You know, we're going to do this, and, and just the, the chiseling, right? That's what I like to so say. It's a pretty good uh, combination of two different worlds. You know, coming that's together. That's smart. Yeah. That's smart. Because that's all I was going to say. Like, the industry has changed so much yeah. from when we started, mm -hmm. you know? And, and everybody is bringing their own ideas, you know, in, in the studios. Some come and go, but you're still around. Yeah. You're still kicking. Yes. You know? That's awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. Because I know I've seen your stuff, and like, I remember when you were in Dynamic, now you're here and you're still here, and you're still doing something, which something we love. That's what I tell people. Like, it's not. I don't consider it as a job. Yeah. Like, I don't. We like, get to go party every day. I, I love doing what I do. I love training my clients. I still love bodybuilding. Yeah. You know, I I, I want to help people. And I like to see that glow when the transformation changes. Definitely. Like, I love that. That's seeing you know? somebody's life yeah. change for the better yeah. is, like, the best for me. Yeah. That's, that's what I saw. I love transformation. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like my uh, my clients for competitors. Right. But when we truly transform somebody's life from when they're unhappy and yeah. you know, upset of themselves they just you know and then they come in and they change their life for the one day couples i've had yeah. couples tell me you know we're both training here now and like talk about reviving our marriage like we just got that pep in our step and we're happier at home and you know just seeing just the benefits or or health benefits or confidence in kids or just you know all around yeah that that's it for me that's what keeps me going. You know, I don't go to work or have to, I get to go to work. You know? And like you, you're always changing every couple of years. So what do you, what do you see your future as? It's, I it's, definitely want to get more on, um, I still want to have the gym going, but more food, okay. um, and more of the Reiki, the healing, you know, I still want to work with competitors. Like I said, sometimes they're coming to me just to get that glow before getting on stage. Um, but I see myself going more in that, direction more healing and more feeding everybody <laughs> the right stuff the right stuff so. definitely and teaching people how to eat by their blood type and by you know a lot of people just don't know that it just small tiny little changes can make them feel so much better you know what advice would you give somebody that wants to start in the industry now like right now somebody came up to you a young individual and they, they ask you know oh, i love this i want to do something like this what advice would you give somebody that Definitely follow the passion, right? If you, um, cause there's so many different aspects of fitness now, whatever you're passionate about, that's your calling. You know, you wake up and you want to do this and then go do that. Then learn how to be marketable. As far as, like I said, there's so many good, talented trainers that are awesome at working out and training people, but they don't know how to charge or they don't know how to make money. They don't, you got to study business. You got to know uh, the business aspect, um, learn what people want, what they don't want, what works, what doesn't work. That's going to what what makes you um, successful and have a servant heart, you know, um, just have that. People can tell when you're genuine and you really care about them. And you really want to help them and when they can't. And when you really have the passion and you're genuine, you don't even have to try to go get yeah. clients. They come to you. They're like, I want that. You know, so whatever it takes to keep that fire alive in you and that passion and always educating yourself, that's to me, that's going to be success, you know. And then if you're doing your passion, you're going to be happy every day. You can't go wrong with that. So hopefully we'll see you on stage in a couple of years, you say? Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll make my way back up there. <laughs> Once this... that's, that's, I, remember, I remember when we started, I was like, I figured you were going to go far. And then you you knew that you could have, I think. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah. It, it just, and I, like me, like I didn't think I was going to come back to Bayern. And I came back and... I was happy that, to see know? that. Like, I was I happy was, to see that. I was out for so long. I was out seven years. Yeah. And I came back and got it. So any last words you want to tell our audience here? Mm -hmm. Don't forget to breathe. <laughs> it's crazy out there. And drink your spring water, wear your sunscreen, and don't forget to breathe. Well, I hope you guys liked it, the, the interview today with Timna. Make sure you guys give us a like up. Subscribe to our channel. You know, we'll be bringing in more guests from South Texas area. So I'm going to put out uh, Timna's information so you guys can follow her on Instagram and uh, Facebook. 
And go give a try. Go give one of our classes a try. Go even yeah. try that. Do the, the Riku session. Riku you know? would be awesome. Riku, try, try it. You know, I, I'll, I'm thinking of doing one. I want to try it. We're going to do one. We're going to do one. Definitely. We're going to do one. <laughs> and then I'm gonna tell, I'll tell you my experience on that. Awesome. So, so next time, get the last rep in. Stay healthy. Peace. <laughs> if you guys are interested in the great line of supplements, go ahead and go check out Jack Factory. Links in description. Use my code, Jason. You can save 15%. Let me tell you about the stack I love. I love taking my Nitro Surge and I combine it with the NOXT. Get hell of a pumps. Great energy. Great workout. Love it. They got your pre-workouts, protein, fat burners, essentials. So go check them out. Use my code, Jason. Save 15%.